<laughs> Hello there! It's me, Nicholas. Uh, some people call me Santa Claus. I have a lot of names. I know it's around the holidays and everything, and I don't know if you know this, but for hundreds and hundreds of years, people would gather around the fire and they would tell stories. And Santa loves stories. And if you wouldn't mind, I'd like to share one with you. The story I'd like to share with you is called The Shoemaker and the Elves. Now, how many of you have seen the movie Harry Potter? Do you remember that part where Dobby the elf opens up the book and finds a sock and says, Dobby has been given a sock. Dobby is a free elf. Well, that's actually a tradition that goes all the way back. Oh my goodness, so far back. It goes back to a German folktale, believe it or not, called the Shoemaker and the Elves. And here's the story. A long time ago, there was a shoemaker and his wife, and they were not doing very good. It was in the winter and they weren't getting a lot of customers and pretty soon they had next to nothing to make anything with. And so that shoemaker, he gathered together the last of the materials he had and he started to lay out everything he needed to make one more set of shoes. But that night when he went upstairs to see his wife and everything, she looked at him and he looked at her and they were very sad because they knew that they did not have much to work with during the holiday season. Well, while they were snuggling in bed, cold as anything, he heard some noise downstairs. And so he headed downstairs and when he got downstairs, there was a little bit of a curtain and he pulled it back. And what did he see but two elves. And the two elves were looking around and one of them saw the, the leather to make the shoes and the other one said, what's that? And the other one says, leather to make shoes. He says, I like making things. I like making things too. And so the two of them got to work. Can you help them make the shoes? Here we go. And it was a perfect pair of shoes. And they set them down and they said, that was fun. Yeah, let's come back. <laughs> and they were gone. The shoemaker looked and there was a perfect pair of shoes. But he thought maybe he was dreaming. And so he closed the curtain and he went back upstairs and went, that was a very odd dream. And he went back to bed. The next morning he got up. Ooh, it was so cold because they barely had enough money for firewood and him and his wife they headed downstairs to where the shop was they opened up the curtain and what did they see but a beautiful pair of shoes perfectly made better than the shoemaker could ever make himself and just then the door of the shop opened up gling 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 and a man walked in a very important looking man and the important looking man looked around and said i'm looking for a pair of shoes <gasps> Those are the very shoes I want. I want those shoes right now. Let me give you lots and lots of money for them. And he gave them, the shoemaker a whole bunch of money. And the shoemaker took the money and went, Thank you very much, sir. And the man left, happy as he could be with his beautiful new shoes. The shoemaker looked at the money. He looked at his wife. He said, I'm going to go buy more materials. And she said, I'm going to make breakfast. And so that's just exactly what they did. And later on that day, that shoemaker, he had all the material to make a whole bunch more shoes. And so he started cutting up the leather and getting the laces together and the soles and the, the little nails and everything. And he laid them all out and he was going to get started on it first thing the next morning. And they went up to bed and they actually had enough money for a nice warm meal and, and, and a little bit of firewood. So they were very cozy. But that night, a she gui came in, a fairy wind. And the shoemaker got up and he made his way downstairs. And he pulled back the curtain and there were the two elves. And the two elves said, look at all the materials. The other one said, yes, somebody's been quite busy. Ooh, I like being busy. The other one said, I like being busy too. What do you say? Let's do it. And they started to get to work. Can you help the elves make the shoes? Here we go. Let's get out of hammers and 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 our, our little our little thingies and our, our lightsabers and and we wah there were all these beautiful shoes there were little shoes and big shoes and and tall shoes and low shoes and and beautiful boots that were very stylish and all sorts of different footwear and the elves they disappeared next morning. 
the shoemaker walked downstairs and sure enough all those beautiful shoes were there and he had just gotten dressed when all of a sudden the door went gling 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 and uh, several people walked in and there was a very important looking woman and she went, oh, those are just the boots I'm looking for and the other one said mommy 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 I must have those shoes I must have those shoes those are the most beautiful shoes I've ever seen in my life and she said yes darling you must have all of these beautiful shoes and I must have those boots and I must bring these home for my husband and another person says no I'm going to buy those and then another person said no I'm going to buy those and they all got in a little bit of a tussle but it was okay because they had plenty of shoes then they sold them all and oh my goodness the shoemaker he had lots of money to buy more materials and he was so happy his business was doing good people were starting to line up to get his shoes well, he went and got more materials, and Mrs. And the Mrs. Shoemaker, she got the house all styled up and just started decorating it for Christmas and made Christmas puddings and Christmas cookies. And believe me, the Germans know Christmas cookies. And they were having a wonderful time. That night, there was all this leather goods laid out. And this time, the shoemaker invited his wife down after they heard the whoosh. And what do you know? The two of them looked around the curtain and they saw the elves. And the two of them said, Oh, look, there's so much for us to do. We love work. Elves are a little different from humans, but they love work and they love keeping busy. And they went, and they had extra, and they got to work. Can you all help me? Meow, meow. And they made all the shoes. And oh my goodness, those elves, after they finished, they went, all right, high five, elbow, nose, ding, ding, and they disappeared. And the Mrs. Shoemaker said, I don't know if you noticed this, but the elves are just kind of dressed in rags. They have raggedy clothes and no shoes of their own. We should thank them somehow. You know what? I'm going to make them some clothes. And the shoemaker said, you know what? I'm going to make them some little elf shoes. Curly think, because I hear they like that. And that's exactly what they did. Well, guess what? The next night was Christmas Eve. And this was before Santa was visiting everywhere. That night, the shoemaker and his wife went down and they laid down the beautiful clothes and set them up for the elf. And they put little cookies on a little stand and a little thing of milk and everything. A good tradition, I might add. And then they got back and they hid behind the curtain. And right around midnight, there's a shigui, a fairy wind, and the curtains moved, and there were the two elves. And the two elves looked around, and they saw there was stuff for shoes and everything, but the first thing they saw was the clothes. The clothes that Mrs. Shoemaker had made for them. And they went over and put them up and went, I'm a very elegant elf. And the other one said, I am a very elegant elf. I'm going to put on these clothes. And they put on the clothes. And they put on the clothes and said, I'm stylish. And the other one said, I'm fashionable. And they looked at each other and he said, you know, we're so stylish and fashionable. We probably shouldn't be getting our hands dirty doing all this work. We shall be proper gentlemen elves. And the two elves looked at each other and went, hmm. And then they ate the cookies and drank the milk and looked around and then disappeared. Mr. and Mrs. Shoemaker, they look, and sure enough, the shoes weren't done. But they were happy that the elves had gotten their beautiful, fashionable clothes. And the elves had disappeared. They went back up to their, their beautiful house that night, and the next morning they came down, and it was Christmas Day, and they had a lovely Christmas morning. And I'm Sad to say that the elves never came back to make any more shoes. But you know what? I think the elves left something else. Because you know what? That shoemaker and his wife, they had good luck until the end of their days. Everything seemed to go right, maybe because the elves were very happy with them. And it's always good to have the elves on your side. And so that's the story of the shoemaker and the elves. And just like they had given those clothes to the elves and the elves disappeared, so had Dobby gotten his sock and he was free. And that's an elfish tradition. And my name is Nicholas, and you've been listening to Stories with Santa True. I'll see you all soon. Ho, ho, ho.
away I go. Now where did those elves put that thing? Oh, here it is. 